Good evening. In this video, I'll discuss about net present value and internal rate of return through R Studio. Net present value and internal rate of return are important discounting techniques of capital budgeting. In order to calculate NPV and IRR in R Studio, we require FinCal package. I have already installed this FinCal package. So simply I load through R Studio. So simply library FinCal enter. Now FinCal package is loaded in my R Studio. Let's talk about a question. The question is investment 700, which is nothing but uh, net cash outlay, then cash inflows for first year 500, then second year 400, then third year 200, fourth year 100, and again fifth year 100. These are expected cash inflows from first year to five years. Let's suppose R equal to 12%. It means discounting rate is 12%. Then what will be net present value? If discounting rate is 10%, what will be net present value? So we calculate NPV and then R equal to the first is 12%. So simply I write here 0.12 comma cash flow equal to C and then minus 700 which is uh, my initial investment and then 500, 400, 200, 100 and again 100. It means in this command minus 700 is nothing but initial investment and then 500, 400, 200, 100 and 100 are cash inflows from first year to five years and then enter. This is my net present value that is 327.95. Let's suppose my discounting rate is 10%. Then what will be the net present value? So simply I write here this Instead of 12%, I write here 0 0.10 and then enter. So in this case, my net present value will be rupees 365.78. This is about net present value. Now, how to calculate internal rate of return on the basis of that information? So simply I write here IRR and then CF equal to C and then minus 700 and 500, 400, 200, 100 and again 100 and then enter. It means 0 0.3655 that means 37.55% is my internal rate of return. It means in order to make net present value zero, we must have 37.55 internal rate of return. That is all about how to calculate NPV and IRR. I hope you like this. Thank you very much.